This module is sponsored by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Welcome to Young and Art Museum. Nice to meet you. I'm Yamina and I'll be your tour guide today. Hello, welcome. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank you. Well, Young at Art is a special art museum. It's a hands-on museum. Does that sound like fun to you? Yes? So are you ready to go explore? Yes. yes? Well, come this way. Let's go. Welcome to Artscapes, a journey through time and art. Here we are in Avenue A in New York City. Now, many artists became famous in New York. One of them is Keith Haring. Let's go check out his artwork, okay? Come on this way, let's go. Take a look at Keith Haring's artwork right here. He became famous by doing chalk drawings in subway stations. And here, take a look. Notice how his figures and his people are very simple drawings. They look like dancing, wiggling, and even flying, don't they? Yeah, do you like to draw? Yes. You could be just like Keith Haring and do a chalk drawing right draw. here if you I like. Wow. Brandon, do you have some chalk? Triangle, an A. Look at that. Brandon's drawing too. I like how you're drawing. If I wanted to, I'm going to give you a message with a shape. You want to see what it is? What if I draw this? What message does that tell you? It's pink, and what shape is it? A heart. It's a heart, and if I put lines around it, it means love. So I'm using a shape to communicate my idea of love to you. Now we're gonna go on a subway train, just like in New York City. Come on board, children. Come on board. Welcome, welcome. Would you like to start the subway, Brandon? Let's see where this train will take I love Young at Art. There's so many artists displayed here. Can you tell us about this artist? Yes, his name is Kenny Sharp. He's a famous artist who used to live in Miami. And he also makes some amazing things like a closet using everyday objects. And we have his closet right here. You it's called closet? Kenny's Closet. We get to learn about the world through the artist's eyes. The artists represented here are Edouard de Valkyrie from Haiti, Lionel Matteo from Cuba, Kenichi Yokono from Japan, and then Shiseko Kondoe from Kenya. Hi! Wow, you want to dance? Hello, everybody. Hi! Hi. I should say Jumbo. Can I say Jumbo? Jumbo. Jumbo. That's how we say hello in Africa. Well, these are the drums. Do you want to see the, an African game? Yes. You want to see an African game? Okay, yes. let me show you an African game. Boys and girls, this, this game is called Bao. Can you say Bao? Bao. Bao, right. Which means board game in the language where we speak. And the game is played right between these two rows here. Okay? If you take all these row from me, you win. If I take all this row from you, I win. And you go clockwise, okay? Two, great, nothing there. So you take those and keep going, yeah. Very good. Keep going one at a time, right? Now you win this, right? Right? And you begin from the beginning, one there, one there, one there. Yeah, one there, right? One there. Thank you so much for showing us how to play. Okay. And here we're going to learn how the artists use the three R's to make art. The three R's are, one is reduce. You use fewer and fewer materials. Say reduce. 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 Alright. Next is reuse. 
Reuse means you use something over and over again. Say reuse. And the last of the three R's is recycle. Have you heard of recycle before? And a recycle is something where you take an old product, crush it, and make it into a new product. Can you say recycle? Good job! In South Florida, we have a famous artist called Pablo Cano. And right here, we have his amazing puppets that he used from found objects. And they're beautiful. Are you ready to go see? Welcome to Pablo Cano's Puppet Theater! What do you think Matilda's face is made out of? Now, who is ready to make some puppets just like Pablo Cano? You want to go make a puppet? Yes, we Let's have go. some wonderful objects that you could use to make your own puppets. Wonderful. Come over here! Let's, Let's go, go make our own puppets! Let's go! Look, there's all kinds of things on here. This is a marionette, but you see how the marionette's made of paper? And look, he has styrofoam shoes. Wow, look at those. You're doing that. it. That's wonderful. Look, what other that's objects that's do we have? <gasps> look at this. You can make a cape. Do you want a cape? Okay, would you like a twirly? Where would the be the mouth? The, over here on this side or on this side? On this side. Okay. No, not this side. On this side. The mouth too. Yeah. Okay, over here. Go ahead. Here, you could take that. Okay. Okay, so maybe I could make a loop. Here you go. Can I attach it like this? What could that be? That is wonderful. It's in around this way. It's around that way. Yeah. Let's see how we could attach this piece that way, right? So maybe we could go this way. Maybe we could go that way. <laughs> Come on. Look at your puppet. What did you do? You recycled and reused. You made an X. We can make all kinds of things out of things that we thought were trash but they're not. That's right. Well, thank you so much for coming, and please come again. We will. Thank you. Thank you.